dissertation changed my mind on cycle syncing. When I started my PhD, the idea that the menstrual cycle could significantly impact exercise performance seemed really plausible. It was a very strong hypothesis and with so much research leaving women out due to hormones being hard to control, seemed like something that a young, ambitious, female-led scientist would want to dig into. A good young scientist is going to be willing to change their mind when data changes it or presents something otherwise. Based off famous TED Talks and books and media at the time, I thought, wow, how is nobody else talking about this or looking into this before the cycle syncing boom? So I went into it with the hypothesis that the follicular phase and luteal phase would have different impacts. Here's what happened. When I sat down to start writing my literature review and combed through all of the research looking at the cardiovascular and metabolic effects of the menstrual cycle and birth control in women and exercise, I started to see messiness in these trends. There wasn't as much congruency or clarity as people in the social media world make it seem. In fact, there was a lot of other factors like nutritional status, fitness status, and or birth control use that impact or influence these things more than just hormones and menstrual cycle alone. Now, my dissertation studies themselves did show no impacts of the menstrual cycle or birth control use on exercise metabolism or cardiovascular response during high intensity interval exercise. But my papers are just one paper. And like any young scientist, I don't rely on one paper alone, but I look at the entire body of literature. Since then, many peer reviewed meta-analyses, review papers, and or other studies have come out that have supported this idea that maybe cycle thinking isn't all it's backed out to be. Maybe our hypothesis was good and strong at the time, but when we actually look at it pan out on humans, it doesn't seem so linear. Now, this does not mean that I think that your menstrual cycle might have no influence on how you feel, how you perceive your training, or impacts on you at all. It might. But the reality is the literature doesn't support that we all follow the same cookie cutter plan. The literature suggests that if you need to adjust based off you, you can modify. And here's the deal. Even my dissertation studies themselves found that there's potentially other influences that can affect this, like fitness status. So when I say that my dissertation changed my mind on cycle syncing, that doesn't mean that I don't think women's performance exercise research is important, that we shouldn't advocate for our symptoms, and or your menstrual cycle or your perception of your performance isn't valid or real. There's some interesting studies that show that perception is strongly altered even if physiology is not. And if you need to adjust and adapt and modify based off your symptoms or your circumstance, absolutely, that is an evidence-based take and opinion to have. Now, if you want to learn more about female training as women and everything else like that, comment female phase below and I'll send you all the resources I have on this. Just because I'm anti-cycle syncing doesn't mean I'm pro-education and women's health. I did do a whole dissertation on it after all.